And now we're going to see two different types of mass balances, differential and integral mass balances. Differential mass balance is essentially an analysis in a one instant of time, which means one instant means as time, time goes to zero. We're going to use a lot of velocities or rates, for example, grams per second, kilograms per hour, barrel per day, and it's a typical like process for continuous processes. So since we are very interested in these processes, this typical chemical engineering, you have plants and work, they work like 24 hours per year, every day. So this is a continuous process, the temperature, kilos, everything, we try to have it the same. So this is a continuous process, you remember. And the tip I use here is it's very convenient to use a time base. So I don't know, you say 10 kilogram per hour, I will say like use one hour, so you have only 10 kilos to analyze. You don't have to, but I do recommend it. We will use this a lot in the course. This is like 80 to 90% of the balances we're going to use. So please get to know it very, very well. Remember instant, remember it's a velocity or a rate, and it's typical for continuous processes. Now the integral one, which we're going to see only about like 10 to 20%. You're probably asking me why we're going to see this. I don't know. It's very important to do other types of balances that doesn't imply continuous processes. Actually, it's very cool because you are going to do processes in two instants of time. So you have time zero or time one, and you have final time. So for example, if you are this typical you will tell me like, oh, why are we studying this? Maybe you're filling a tank. You have, I don't know, 10 liters per hour. And you have 100 liters capacity. You will, the, I don't know how to explain it. Like, what will be the time needed to fill the tank? And of course, like, with not math, you can say 10 hours. You need 10 hours to fill a 100 liter. If you're flowing a uh, ten, uh, 10 liter, per hour water here, you flow here. So we, that's why we use two times, or two instants of time. We use quantities rather than velocities. I told you before it was velocities, but in this one, we're going to use more quantities. I, as I told you, 10, like how much, 100 liters. I want 100 liters is punctual. Before you wanted the velocity, like what is the rate, like 100 kilograms per second, but no. Now we're going to be more interested in the quantities. Like kilogram, ton, pound, liter, etc. The time elapsed is very, very easy. Just final time minus initial time will give you the change in time. It's very typical for batch processes. Actually, it's a transient process. So every batch process is a transient process. And the trouble or problem here is you need to feed react, discharge, and you repeat the process. You need to repeat it because it's not continuous, so you do one cycle, and then you need to do second cycle, and then you do third cycle, and you continue until you get your desired quantity. Like, if I'm producing 100 kilos of a product, and my reactor can only give me, I don't know, uh, 10 kilos per batch, I will have to do 10 times that reaction so to get 100 kilos. And this is all, of course, the time or the reaction time involved. I don't know, this is one hour. If I need to do 10 reactions and I need one hour, you will need at least 10 hours. So you will have to probably repeat. So that was about the integral balances, differential balances are the important ones, don't get confused. So, doesn't mean that integral is not important, but if I were to choose, if I were a student and I will say I don't have that much time, I will recommend you to study the differential mass balance. Unless you know you have your exam is about integral mass balancing or about transient processes, this will be the answer. Like this, please study this. But if not, I do recommend you to study this differential mass balancing.